let's go. Let's you mentioned Auburn Fanta. Like I, I love Janai Broom. I think Janai Broom is there's a non-zero chance that he's the national player of the year when we look up in February, right? Like I think that something like a 19 and 12 kind of a season is not out of the picture. Like he could pass the ball, he could shoot it a little bit. Like the dude's as uh in terms of like superstars, he's like as underrated as you're going to find just because I don't think people, there's nothing no flash in his game. I agree with that. Well, the, there's a bet, you know, we're going to, we might make this a segment on the pod this year. Can I propose something? Do yeah. It. Two minutes every week, three minutes every week, maybe cue some music in the post edit. We're just going to take the big man carousel for a ride. Hop on, <laughs> hop on the, hop on the merry go round and let's just literally rapid fire two or three minutes to make sure that the men who I want to hit the pizza hut buffet with get their due respect because it feels like Janai Broom and Ryan Kalkbrenner are getting this, this not talked about enough. And Janai an all American. He's one of the five best returning players in college basketball. Am I right? He, he averaged uh, 16 and a half boards, eight and a half, uh, 16 and a half points and a half boards, two assists and two blocks. Um, while shooting 55% from the floor and 35% from three in 24 minutes last year. That's incredible. 24 minutes. My, my big concern with them is incredible. And I don't know if it's a concern, but like JP Pagis has got to be a dude. And I just, I, I think that there is a, an athleticism. Uh, he's going to have, to, there's a step up in length and athleticism. Yeah. And, you I think? don't want to say like he's not capable of it, but that's something where it's like I kind of want to see him do it before I sit here and go all in on Auburn. Like I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna poke holes in like every team that I see coming through in in the SEC because I think that there's like there there are some real strength and some real flaws with everybody outside of Alabama. In the everybody SEC. keeps bringing up JP Pegues like. Miles Kelly from Georgia Tech is a good player. Oh, yes. he's good, man. Like he, he it's could be. It's he not could all be on like, Pegues. No, all it's on. not all on it. I think Pegues is better kind of when the ball moves and mm-hmm. he can kind of attack a closeout. And like he's going to be fine. I, I don't. I don't doubt that he'll be a fine player for Auburn. To, to say he's going to come back and get eighteen points a game, I feel like I've seen him no, too much, and I love it. JP. But like, I feel like I've seen him too much. We're looking at that. 10 to 12 points a game type of deal and then playing a role. And that's good. That's worth about 400 grand now. You're yeah. not, you're not wrong. 